Good day, mga Nakshi. So, I'm Miss Aika, your math tutor. So, so, for today's lesson, we are going to discuss the... We are going to discuss how to find the LCD of irrational algebraic expression. So, we all know that LCD stands for the least common denominator, which is, it is the smallest number that can be used for all the denominators of two or more fractions. For example, we have here simple fractions. 3 fourths and 7 over 16. So we are going to find the LCD or the least common denominator of 4 and 16. So we are going to we are going to list the factors or the prime factors of the given denominators. So we have the prime factors of 4, we have 2 and 2. And the prime factors of 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So now, we are going to list down all the factors that are or that can be seen in our table. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Then get their product. So 2 times 2, that is 4. Times 2, that is 8. And times 2, that is 16. Therefore, the LCD of 3 fourths and 7 over 16 is 16. <coughs> Next, another example. Another example. So, do na tayo sa rational algebraic expression. Remember that rational algebraic expression is composed of polynomials or composed of a numerator and denominator that are both polynomials. So, we have a over 6x and b over 9xy. So, what are the denominators? So, the denominators are 6x and 9xy. Now, we are going to get their prime factors. So, what are the prime factors of 6x? So, we have 2 times 3 times x. Because 2 times 3, that is 6 times x, that will become 6x. How about the prime factors of 9? So, the prime factors of 9 is 3 times 3. Then, the variables x and y. Now, we are going to list down all the factors. So, once na may nakita kayo magkaparehas na factors, for example, we have 3, parehong may 3, si 6 and si 9, and pareho din silang may x. You will write it as 1. So, we have 2 times 3, this one, yung magkapareho, times another 3, then isang x, and the variable y. Then, get their product. So, 2 times 2, that is 6 times 3, that is 18 times x and y, that is xy. Therefore, our least common denominator for this is 18xy. Okay, so another example. So, this is for a denominator that is monomial, meaning it has one term. So, we have here 2 over 15a and 3 over 10b. So, we are going to get the LCD of 15a and 10b. So, first, you are going to write their prime factors. So, what are the prime factors of 15a? So, we have 3 times 5 times a. How about the prime factors of 10b? So, we have 2 times 5 times b then write all the factors or the, write all the prime factors that we have so we have first here 3 times 2 then irerate lang natin yung 5 as 1 so we have times 5 times a lahat po ng prime factors na nailagay natin ay isasama natin dun sa pag write natin sa baba. Dun sa kukunan natin ng product. So, 2 times 2, um, excuse me, so 3 times 2, that is 6 times 5, that is 30. 
times A times B, that is AB. Therefore, the LCD for this rational algebraic expression is 30AB. So, another example, what if the denominator given is a binomial, meaning we have two terms. For example, we have a over um, x minus 1 and b over x plus 4. So, what if that is the case? So, binomial na. Parehong binomial na yung denominator natin. So, do you think we can expand it? No. Do you think we can factor it? No. Kasi, nakasimplify na sila. So, kung ganito yung makikita ninyong denominator, you are just going to multiply them because they are already prime. So, they are already simplified. So, imumultiply nyo lang siya with the use of the parentheses. So, we have x minus 1 and x plus 4. So, this will be your least common denominator for this expression. So, ganun lang kasimple kapag parehong prime ang ating given denominator. Another example. So, another example we have 2 over x squared minus 25 and 3 over x minus 5. So, paano naman natin kukunin ang LCD ni x squared minus 25 and ni x minus 5? So, tingnan yung mabuti if the given denominator is factorable or not. If it is not factorable, then you will just rewrite it. So, we have x minus 5. So, that is already a prime. That is already simplified. Then, how about x squared minus 25? So, as you can see, this um, this expression or this polynomial given can be factor with the use of the difference of two squares. So, you are just going to get the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term that you will be put inside the two parentheses with a sum and difference. So, we have the square root of x that will be x, the square root of 25 that is 5. Then, look at their factors. Kapag may parehong factors sila, you will write it as 1. Hindi nyo siya isusulat as 2. So, you have x plus 5 and x minus 5. So, this will be your denominator. Okay. So, another one. So, what if we have Okay. So, what if we have xy over x squared plus 7x plus 10? And z over x squared minus 25. So, what are the denominators? We have x squared plus 7x plus 10 and x squared minus 25. So, yung x squared minus 25, nakunan na natin siya ng factors kanina. And those are x plus 5 and x minus 5. How about x squared plus 7x plus 10? Is it factorable? Yes, it is factorable. So, we are going to use the general trinomials here. So, the factors for this expression or for this polynomial is x plus 2 and x plus 5. So, look at their factors. Kapag may kapareho, isang beses nyo lang siya pwedeng isulat. So, we have x plus 2. Then, x plus 5. So, meron ba siyang kapareho? Yes, meron. So, you will write it as 1, x plus 5. Then, the last one is x minus 5. Therefore, your LCD for this rational algebraic expression is x plus 2 multiplied by the quantity x plus 5 multiplied by the quantity x minus 5. So, basta 
kaya nyo siyang i-factor or kaya nyo pa siyang i-factor out para ma-expand siya, mas makita natin kung ano yung magkakapareho sa kanilang factors para maisulat lang siya as one, yun po ay gagawin natin. Mas pasisimplehan po, po natin siya. So, yan lang po yung pagkuha ng LCD ng Rational Algebraic Expression na magagamit natin sa operations of Rational Algebraic Expression. So, dapat, dapat master nyo na or may alam na kayo kung paano kumuha ng least common denominator ng Rational Algebraic Expression at syempre, pinaka-importante sa lahat, marunong dapat tayo mag-factor ng polynomial. So, napaka- Laking bagay na alam natin yung iba't ibang methods ng pagpa-factor or iba't ibang shortcuts ng pagpa-factor ng polynomials. So, kung hindi nyo siya masyadong naiintindihan yung pagpa-factor ng polynomials, meron tayong ibang videos dito sa channel na to. So, pwede nyo siyang ulit-ulitin hanggang sa, hanggang sa ma-master nyo na yung ways or yung methods kung paano nyo masasolve or mapa-factor ang isang given polynomial. So, for our next topic, see you again next day. So, that's all for today. Thank you.